All right, guys, so for lab three, there's not a whole lot that you have to know in terms of calculations. Um, but what you do need to know is there are a few definitions, uh, and included in those definitions are things like equivalence point, um, endpoint, which is, uh, and titration error indicators. You need to be familiar with some of the indicators that we use. Um, and that's mainly it. Uh, however, you need to also be able to recognize these on a graph. Uh, if you take a look at this, it's in your lab manual. This is the, our equivalence point right here, and this is our half titration volume. I think with those two things, you should, or with those few things, well, you should be in good shape for lab three. Now, let's go ahead and answer a fairly basic question. So, we are going to titrate. 0.15 molars of acetic, 0.15 molar acetic acid, also known as HC2H3O2. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that on our board um, with sodium hydroxide. So we should know what happens in this situation. The sodium hydroxide is a strong acid, so it will dissociate completely and rip off this hydrogen uh, from the acetic acid. So let's go ahead and figure out what happens here. So when we add then sodium hydroxide, that's essentially going to fully react to become just water plus the acetate. So what we need to know at this point is what does this do? So this likes to pick up hydrogen. So this is actually going to be a basic solution. Now the reason that this is a basic solution is because when mixed with water, so now let's forget that we had that previous equation. So when we mix acetic or acetate, sodium acetate with water, it's going to want to pull off some of the hydrogens and produce some HC2H3O2 or acetic acid. Um, and this is going to leave us with a hydroxide solution, um, which is going to be very slightly basic. Now there aren't going to be a lot of these hydroxides running around because they tend to want to snag off most of these other hydrogen ions, but there are going to be a few running around, and those few will make this a basic solution. So so just be relatively familiar with um, some of these solutions, uh, and you should be in good shape for lab three. All right, let's proceed on to lab four.